Two of Cups and King of Wands. This could be someone that um, they want to partner up with you. This could be someone you want to partner up with. Um, you could work with this person. You could want to work with this person. Partner up with this person. And you have a lot of passion to come towards this person. Or this is, you know, someone trying to come towards you. They, you know, have a lot of attraction, affection, passion for you. And um, they want to come towards you to work with you. This person could be someone that is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Or they could be a water sign. You could be a water sign. You could be a fire sign. You just have to take it where it resonates. Nine of Swords is here. This person could be, you know, they're keeping this in their head. They have not said anything to you about it, and they have not said anything to anyone. This person could be someone that is stressed out because of this, the way they feel, or them wanting to work with you or partner up with you. Yeah, they're, they're stressing them out. Yeah, the Ten of Swords is here. Yeah. Wow. So this person could have went through some type of betrayal and it's stressing them out. They could have went through some type of betrayal in a relationship or they partnered up with someone. And it was the person that partnered up with them was to betray them. Yeah, this person feels betrayed and it's stressing them out. Whatever betrayal they went through is stressing them out. They were backstabbed multiple times. It was like over and over and over again. Yeah. They could have also, what I'm seeing, partnered up with someone out of passion, out of lust. And they went towards that person off of that action and they ended up um, stressed out and backstabbed, betrayed. Four Swords is here. This person also could have um, found out about some gossip. Somebody ended up getting exposed with this nine of swords. This talks about slander, gossip, sleepless nights, you know, getting exposed for things that was done in the dark. And um, this person could have isolated their self from you after rumors and lies were told on, you know, you by someone else that they partnered up with. And they didn't know this person was betraying them, you know, backstabbing them. And this was purposely that they did this so they could isolate their self from you for swords. This person needed to cleanse their self. They needed to heal. They needed to rehabilitate and recharge their energy. Lay different situations to rest. So it's like it needed to come to that point. This person ran across this individual for a lesson. So they could move forward to their blessings. And then our old cycles with this world card being here. And walking into a whole nother cycle. This person needed to get grounded. This person needed to meditate more. Cleanse their self. And complete cycle, complete this cycle, because this was a, a ten of swords. Like this was a, a harsh, painful lesson that this person needed to learn. This person could have always partnered up with people out of you know just lust, passion, and this you know it just has them in their head. Nine of swords, stressed out. This person feel betrayed because they ended up getting exposed. That person ended up getting exposed for being a liar. They could have found out in a dream. <laughs> and they isolated themselves from that person. Yeah. The sun card is here. This person ended up getting exposed for, you know, getting with this person because of finances with this king of pentacles. They could have looked for this person to nurture them. They looked at this person as somebody that was sweet, a lick, somebody that would, you know, they could maneuver, they could play to get money out of. Yeah, this was like a setup. And some type of way, this person was coming towards you to um, partner up with you. And next thing you know, somebody came in quick and spread some type of rumors and lies to have this person like stressed out in their head, trying to figure the situation out. Once they found it out, they realized they had been betrayed. Ten of Swords is here. Now this person could be in isolation. They're in solitude away from everybody. 
And, um, you know, and this could be past, present or near future. So it could have went on in the past. It could be going on now or it could be getting ready to happen. You know, everyone is not on the same, you know, time frame. And um, this needed to happen. This person had to go through this harsh, painful lesson so they can complete a toxic cycle. This person needed to get exposed. Things needed to be illuminated. But yeah, they um, they did this because they looked at this person as um, someone that was financial gain. Someone that was very kind hearted to, you know, could take care of them, share their wealth with them. This person feels betrayed. That's all I keep hearing. Ace of Cups is here. This person needed to go through this so they could start loving their self, take care of their self. Finally show their self some love. Because this person was the type of person that was, um, they were so used to putting all of the energy and love that they were supposed to put in their self and other people and they weren't getting anything out of it. It's like, start with yourself and it's like you get more out of that. Then you'll be able to give to other people. Once you start giving to yourself, you start seeing who there for you and who not. Because these are people that's going to support you when they see you loving yourself and giving you know, to yourself finally. Other people are going to get upset. They're going to try to secretly do this and that to backstab you, betray you because they're so used to using you. It's like these people, it, it needed to happen so this person could isolate themselves. If people didn't respect that, that this person was loving themselves, these are people that were being exposed. These are people that show who they really are. They don't care about that person. They only care about their self. Because if you care about someone and you know, you genuinely love that person, you would tell that person, hey, you need to get some time for yourself or hey, you need to do this and that for yourself. Take care of yourself. When it's all about them, they don't care. Ten of Wands and Three of Wands. And then Five of Cups. This person is weighed down from whatever decisions that they made with this Three of Wands. It's like they made a decision and then they were at the Ten of Wands feeling pressure, feeling burdened, feeling weighed down. And now they're stuck at the Five of Cups in regret. They're ashamed. They're embarrassed. A lot of people could have warned them about partnering up with somebody or this person. And they didn't believe them. This person went off of passion. Yeah, this person went off a of passion and they ended up getting some type of way, you know, betrayed, stressed out. And they needed to learn this harsh, painful lesson. Yeah. They're in regret. It's like this person don't want people to know. They could, you know, wait until they get by themselves and they're ashamed. They're crying over spilled milk. They don't want people to know that they made a, you know, a bad decision that is weighing them down. This person could have been somebody that was trying to um, be seen in a certain light around certain people. They figure if they partner up with this person or partner up with that person, they will get some type of attention. But it's like it only weighed them down. It only had them at the Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords, Four of Swords. They could have gotten sick because of that person. Because they went off of passion. It's like this person was pent down. Going through a harsh, painful lesson. Yeah. The lovers is here. Yeah, King of Swords and um, the Judgment is here. Yeah, this person knew they had feelings for you, but they kept it hidden. With this King of Swords being here. This person was detached from their emotions. They didn't know how to express their self properly. This person didn't even wasn't even loving their self. To even express how they felt about you. But this person is in love with you. And it's like as they were in this King of Swords. They're going through karma. They're going through judgment. For whatever decisions that they made. That had them at the ultimate burdens. And the ultimate betrayal. Yeah they're in regret. Six of Pentacles is here. Equal give and take. So it's like you could have um, felt the same way about this person, but they didn't say anything. 
Yeah. Yeah, they didn't say nothing. So you just started working on yourself and, you know, focusing on whatever it is that you want out of life. And um, you could have been working on a business or you got a new you know, job offer, new career, something like that. You just started working on yourself, minding your business, focusing on you. Yeah, you were working on yourself. And it's like this person needed to work on their self as well. Yeah, you were healing. The star card is here. This person needed to heal as well. So it was like you and this person have a deep connection, a strong bond, but um, in the spiritual realm. And it's like it didn't manifest in the physical realm because you were working on yourself. You needed to heal. This person needed to work on yourself. They needed to heal. It's like both people needed to um, heal. But this is how y'all felt about each other with the lover's card being here. And this person was possibly, you know, so used to being in a certain type of energy around different people. So instead of loving their self, choosing their self and what they want, they went after what would look good or passion. Something that was like pleasing to the eye to other people. And it wasn't to them. Yeah, Tower is here. They're sitting back dealing with an overflow of bad choices for whatever they had and did. This needed to happen so this person could go through a drastic change. This person could have wanted your attention. And it's like you started focusing on yourself and you were healing more. And whatever this person was doing, it was just coming back. Six of Pentacles equal give and take. And that's why they're in regret and they're feeling weighed down. They ended up running to, you know, towards someone that was in the same energy as them. This person wanted some attention. They wanted your attention. And that person they partnered up with wanted everyone else's attention. This person wanted to get your attention in the wrong way. Instead of expressing how they felt because they didn't know how to, they resorted to partnering up with someone that was just, um, someone that would, you know, that was like a sexual type of connection and that was it. Yeah. And it's like that person that they partnered up with, they were someone that was just a sexual, you know, connection. And that was it. But just so happened they they needed this person to give to them. This person could have got with that other person thinking that that person was going to give them some money. It was like this. This was like a codependent type of relationship. And this person put their self down for harsh, painful endings. This person needed to learn harsh, painful lessons. Wow. I mean, it's like when you get with somebody, it's like you think this person is going to get, you know, get you a lot of attention or get you some money or something like that. And this is what this person thought. And that person was thinking the same thing. Well, they're going to get a lot of attention. This person going to get them a lot of money. And they were on the same page, vibing low. You were minding your business, healing and just doing the work. Now this person is in regret. They're going through judgment. They could have gotten in some type of legal situation with this King of Swords and Judgment being here, partnering up with this person just quick off of, uh, you know, passion or lust. And they ended up being weighed down with some type of burdens or baggage that's possibly not even theirs. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, in the reverse. <laughs> Let me get my card. Yeah, hangman in the reverse. This person needed to get enlightened. And it's like with the hangman in the reverse, it, it talks about enlightenment. Yeah, this person needed to get woke. Empress is here. And then two of pentacles is here. Six of Wands and Temperance. It looks like, yeah, it's like you're having victory. You're someone that's an empress. You can embody, you know, every, you know, queen in the deck in the upright position.
And this person was going back and forth about something with this Two of Pentacles. Yeah, they were going back and forth about something. It could have been about, you know, balancing something out with this temperance card being here, having harmony. So it could have been somebody else that was trying to get this person to think that they were someone that was like an empress. They were someone that was like a boss. They were someone that could be able to do, you know, do this, put this out there and it just prosper. And this is someone that did not, um, this is someone that, you know, they're a type of ten of swords energy, a nine of swords energy. They gossip about people. They're always going through harsh, painful endings. Whatever they touch, it's a ten of swords because they're at the seven of swords energy. They're very sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. This person didn't know what an empress was. Whoever your um, this person is that you have a deep connection with that wanted to partner up with you or wants to partner up with you, they don't know what an empress is. They didn't know. And it's like they were going back and forth in their head about you and that person that they were attached to. This person was somebody that was trying to copy you. That's, that's what I'm getting. This person was somebody that was trying to act like you, do everything that you do. Whatever they seen you do, they wanted to do it. And they wanted this person to think that they were someone that was like you. Yeah. But it's like you're the one that's having victory and success. Six of Wands is here because you're being your authentic self. This person was copying you. And they was doing it in a sneaky, deceptive way. They wanted this person to go back and forth in their head where they weren't sure. They would look at you, then look at them, look at you. And this person was confused. But it's like you're the one that's at the Six of Wands. You're someone that minding your business, not even focusing on this person or whoever they were attached to. You could have knew this person was learning lessons and they didn't know that they were learning lessons. And then temperance is here. You're someone that's very grounded, very balanced, very stable. Whoever this energy is, is weighing them down or they, you know, this person was someone that was already at the Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. And it was like, it just brought this person from the, you know, to the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords as they partnered up with this individual. This person did, you know, went through all of this because they needed to go through a drastic change, including that person who was at the Seven of Swords being very sneaky, thinking that they were going to get away with, you know, copying you. This person was that thirsty? Yeah, this is sad. Three of Cups is here. This was a third party individual and it was like different friends involved that was helping this person, like different third party individuals. And they were being very sneaky. Like you would least suspect that a person would just sit back and watch um, whatever it is that you do, whatever it is that you got going on and now they're jumping trying to do it. And they're in a way different energy than what you are. So as you're at the Six of Wands, they're at the Ten of Swords. They're not being their authentic self. They want to be you. And you cannot be anyone else. You cannot walk in anyone else's energy. These energies did not know. These people that got behind the scenes at the Seven of Swords, they didn't know. Whatever they were trying to sit back and, you know, do or be, trying to be you, copy you, they were at the Ten of Swords. They would be weighed down, pressure, and burdened. These are people that could not walk in your shoes. And they thought that they see you do it, let me do it. Yeah, this is some. This person is someone that is at the nine of swords. They're mentally unstable. A lot of people could be gossiping about this person, and they don't know they're headed straight into the ten of swords. Harsh, painful endings. Yeah, this person is confused. Seven of Cups is here. They were trying to confuse a lot of people. And it's a shame that you don't even know this person. You don't even know the people that they were trying to confuse, but they use you. Because they knew that you and that person that they were attached to had a deep connection. So they figured that they would try to walk off in your energy, pin you down secretly for harsh, painful endings. Spread lies, rumors, and gossip on you to try to keep you isolated away from that person. And you didn't even care. You hadn't placed yourself in solitude. You were already healing, completing cycles, and working on yourself. And this person was thinking that they had everybody confused. 
trying to do everything that you were doing and they didn't do nothing but pin themselves down for harsh, painful endings. This person wanted to do everything that you were working on. Instead of trying to work on their self, find their self and heal their self, they wanted to be your authentic self. And they done pinned their self down for harsh, painful endings because people, this person that not got exposed, the truth came out. Ace of Swords, Clarity. 